Hey everybody, hope everybody's having a good week. It is camshaft day. So, as you know, I'm building a Ford 300 that's going in my van to race the no-name nationals in 2024. And I would kind of chose a cam grind offline that I thought I'd, well, I thought would be ideal. And I called Delta and I talked to Ken and about my combination and what I was doing and he actually suggested a different grind. So I just let him come up with what he thought was best and appropriate for the engine I'm building and, and what I'm using it for and everything, my specific combination. 100% um, of the time you're usually better off just letting the actual camshaft expert pick, but sometimes we want to be useful and pick on our own, but you're usually better off just letting them pick it. So, as you may remember, I originally was going with a camshaft that was 204, 204 at 50 intake and exhaust, and I believe it was 448 lift intake and exhaust on a 112. It's like a Schneider 156H, um, but you know, it's more of a towing cam, and it wouldn't have been all that great for horsepower, although it would have made okay torque. But, called the good people that grind all my camshafts, Delta Cam, and Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Yep. So this is actually the core that come out of the 300 that's in my 1980, and I had them regrind it. All reground and parkerized. Got some of their uh, modified oiling lifters. Let's take a look at the specs. See what they ground me. Okay. So, and I've already looked, so they rate everything at a 1.5. You gotta remember a Ford has a 1.6 rocker, so we'll get to the lift in a minute. But this cam's supposed to be a 206, 212. Of course, uh, that's probably just, this is just variance in, you know, on the cam analyzer. So 206, 212, which is what it says on the box. So we're gonna say, 206 degrees of duration at 50 intake, 212 degrees exhaust, which is good. So that's a split pattern, so that'll help equalize the uh, flow through the cylinder head because the exhaust adds pretty poorly on a Ford 300. Valve lift, 418, 432 with a 1.5. But if you take your lobe lift, 0.279 and 0.288, times it by 1.6, which is your rocker arm ratio on a Ford, that gives me 446, 460. So nearly the lift of the other cam intake and 460 exhaust, fair amount of lift. And with the smallish valves, that ought to really crutch the small valves and ports. Uh, it's supposed to be on a 110. It came out to like a 111. Again, this is just variance on the uh, cam analyzer. There's my overlap. Now for you cam geeks, I'll sit here just for a second so you can read the uh, cam or the valve timing events which is really cool that they give you these it's not just a spec card you know a cam card they actually give you valve timing events but Ken and John always do me really good oh and here's the uh, intake and exhaust center lines And uh, remember, the factory cam in the EFI 300s is, I believe, seven degrees of, I think they're, they're seven degrees retarded. So this is damn near zero. This cam is going to run really good. I have a feeling that with that intake and exhaust duration and that amount of lift, a ported head, good flowing EFI exhaust manifolds that I'm planning on porting, um, <laughs> another satisfied customer. Um, and a heavily ported intake that Big Dog's porting's doing and my Ed's Carburetor's custom Auto Light 2100. This thing ought to make pretty good power. I'm, I'm really wanting a Crest 230 because the Astros 305 made, I think it was 231's the absolute most. I mean, I'd be thrilled with 250 horsepower, and if you've ever built a Ford 300 all-motor, you know that that's starting to get to pretty hot. But I'd like between 220, 230 horsepower and 
Um, definitely more than 300 foot pounds of torque. Looking for, you know, 320, 330. I'd be thrilled with 350, but, you know, is what it is. But uh, this cam shouldn't require a, a higher style torque converter, and it should work just fine with my 308 gear and my heavy vehicle weight. But again, if you need a cam reground or ground, any specs you want, these are the guys to do. These are who I use and uh, never have one go flat. I have zero issues with their flat tap at cams. If you want a flat tap at cam that's not going to go flat, have them grind you one and ask for their notched lifters, their oil modified lifters, uh, and you won't have any problems. But so there is the uh, cam for the Ford 300. And stay tuned this week. I will uh, be giving you an update on the EFI exhaust manifolds that I'm going to port myself. And then Big Dog's porting, of course, is porting and modifying my Offenhauser intake manifold. And um, I'm picking up my core engine uh, Saturday. I finally found one. I uh, was trying to find something that was a little less complete. But, you know, with the way everything is now, I'm just going to go get this guy's engine because... He's a nice, honest guy, and he's got a good, solid running engine, and it's a good, clean engine, so it'll probably actually save me money in machine work anyway. So that's all I got for now. I'll see you guys later. See ya.